Are you tired of trying new diets or nutrition strategies only to find yourself right back at square one over and over again? Imagine finally breaking free from that cycle and making real progress towards your goals. I'm Charlene Stiles, a nutritionist and a coach. I specialize in helping people just like you reach their goals and dreams through understanding their minds to create behavior changes. Today, I'm excited to share my DARE method with you. It's a framework that can help you reach any goal, including diets with consistency and ultimately success. So many people that I work with, they've tried various diets, diets and ended up with little or no results. Frustrated, they switch to something new only to repeat the same pattern until they reach out for help. And that's where my DARE method comes in. This framework can guide you to set and achieve your goals without constantly changing lanes. So let me walk you through it. DARE stands for decide, act, review, and edit. It's crucial to stick to one path because constantly changing strategies is like Switching lanes on a highway prevents you from reaching your destination efficiently and while you're exerting a lot of energy. So here's how it works. Step one is to decide. First, you need to decide on a goal and approach that you're going to take. Commitment here, of course, is the key. I talked about this in my previous video, how to stop giving up and start achieving your, your goals. So for instance, if your goal is to lose weight, you might decide on a balanced diet or a regular exercise routine. Let's say for an example, you commit to following my Master Your Metabolism Nutrition Program and strength training three times a week. You make this decision and you commit to it for a set period of, of time. Decide in advance how long you're going to stick to it. This part is key. And then next is the action phase. Here we'll take specific actions towards your goals. For health or weight loss, this might mean implementing your meal plan or sticking to a workout schedule. Imagine that you've planned out your meals for the coming week, ensuring that they're rich in vegetables and proteins and healthy fats, and you set a time for your workouts, treating them as non-negotiable or priority type of appointments. The third thing is then to review. Regularly review your progress. This is a step that often gets overlooked, but it's so essential. Here we'll work on reflecting on what worked, what didn't, and why. For an example, you may have found that it was challenging to stick to morning workouts. You can identify this as the issue and think about why it happened. Like, did you go to bed too late? Were you dragging? Did you lack motivation in the morning? So understanding the factors that get, are getting in your way is really crucial for making effective adjustments. And then the last step is to edit. Based on the review, this is where you can make small but effective tweaks to your actions instead of overhauling the entire plan. So if you find that morning workouts are too difficult, you can try switching to evening sessions, for an example. You can adjust your meal prep schedule if you find that you don't have enough time in the mornings. The goal is here is to refine the approach if you if you without having to start all over with a completely new plan or approach. So that's how we end up switching lanes and proving to ourselves that the lane that we chose just doesn't work. So as we continue with these revised actions, we do it for a set period of time and then we just repeat the review and the edit process on an ongoing basis. One of the biggest pitfalls that I see is this lure to going back to the deciding stage. Deciding on a new plan is exciting because it's new and it doesn't require any of the hard work of the execution. But this is why our efforts often don't pay off. We keep going back to the fun, to the easy part, and avoiding sometimes the necessary and tedious work of implementing these new and unfamiliar actions. And we often skip this stage of evaluation and editing. Our brains love the excitement of new shiny goals, but don't get trapped in this loop. By evaluating and editing, we can make small adjustments that keep us on track and ensuring that we don't revert back to the deciding stage. That's really where we give up and abandon ourselves in this process. So from the beginning, before you even take action, I would suggest that you map out potential obstacles that you may encounter and decide in advance of how you're going to approach them. So you're, you're outlining your own protocol in advance. You can think about what might get in the way of your success and plan it out. 
For instance, if you anticipate busy work days, you can plan shorter or less intense workouts on those days or prepare for meals in advance to save you time when you know that you're gonna be short on it. By having a plan for the obstacles that we anticipate might get in our way, we'll be better equipped to handle them without derailing the progress. So just remember the DARE method, decide, act, review, and edit. This is your roadmap to success. You can stick to your plan and make small strategic tweaks as needed. And this will help you achieve your goals with the right framework, consistency, and a bit of patience. If you want to go deeper, we do this inside of my Master of Your Metabolism program, where I'm with you every step of the way to ensure that you actually get to your goals. You can find the details of the program here below. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, or share the video with others who may find benefit to this as well. Or comment below with your goals and how you plan to use this DARE method to achieve them. I can't wait to see the progress that you make with this framework.